It's a tree, you guys. First of all, Dana from Canada Street News hacked into my all seven of my email accounts and my YouTube channel, Sangraley, and she took it over. She took it over. She's saying that she's the tree. She's talking all this whooshy stuff that like makes my head spin. I don't know what the hell she's doing, but anyhow, she's, I don't know what she, her agenda is she's up to, but she's saying she's the tree and she's taking my stuff and she's like obsessed with me. I wonder if she's a lesbian. She just wants me and that's... No, I'm just kidding. That's I'm trying to make a joke out of this, cause make it funny, but it's not funny, and that wasn't even funny. And if she, even if she was, <laughs> I wouldn't go there. Even if I was, I wouldn't go. Sorry. It's okay, that's not the point here. It's not the point here. It's not to hate. Enough of Dana. That's she's. That's about all I got to say about her. Is whoa. She, she fucking has all my every single every single everything I have. All my documents. All my letters from Master Mason. All my letters from Drake. And all my letters from Pendar. All my letters letters from Queen Elizabeth. All my letters from Leo. All my letters from Brader I'm Hotep. All my letters from YouTube. Everybody that's written me because I copied all my letters. That everybody wrote me on YouTube and put them in and so every single thing I have none of it none of it Dana's got it all all seven of my email accounts she was able to hack into and my YouTube account and took it over so now as you see I made an account called Sangraelians and that's because there's more than one Sangraelian is singular Sangraelians is not singular um Michael Noah Prescott Uh, global elite Illuminati, um, genera multi generation, ancestral generational, controlled breeding Illuminati born slave sex. Born in this program, the Viril machine is a Illuminati laboratory, human enhancements. The laboratory is human enhancements turning humans into not humans by putting microchips in them or machinery or certain things like that to make them have human superhuman powers so that they could use those powers over the people and the people would be afraid and uh, afraid because they use fear mostly but the people would wanting the people to bow down and worship them and even if the people did want to bow down and worship them they would have to anyway because they were afraid because they would have these powers that the humans didn't have that would squash the human or do these horrible, horrible things, whatever. So to create a human being, which like the bionic woman, the bionic man, you know, that stuff's real. They can make genetics do things and they can make superhumans. They can, like when they do the al uh, alchemy and the magic and ritual on the humans when they are inhabited by Sangarian, you know, that's, and then there's the human vampires that are blood drinkers and that need blood that don't reptilian shapeshift or that aren't reptilian but that are um, still altered DNA. They're altering genetically DNA. They're learning. They're going crazy with what they're doing with this. When I say they, the scientists, there's so many Illuminati scientists and there's like a bunch of them that in Germany with Hitler and the my control experiments that they were doing there were horrific, horrific. And then when all when Hitler went down, then the United States literally flew over all of their best top scientists that have been studying an MK Ultra and mind control. And on this channel, you've got in order to understand what I'm talking about, you've got to watch Kathy O'Brien and Arizona Wilder as much as you can. But the ones on my channel watch every single one and it's going to explain to you in detail stuff that even I didn't know I was like oh my god thank you and then they but these women what they went through is the exact same thing that Michael Noel Prescott and Lily I call her Lily I named her Lily because over a year ago the Illuminati because Michael Noel Prescott is a master mason a global elite he's a the head of the Theo Society and those um, Illuminati slaves, sex slaves, because every child is raped from birth, raped from birth, and subjected to uh, horrors and terrors to make them have different compartments in their minds so that they can control their different personalities. And um, Michael Noel Prescott, he was under mind control, and like with the Supreme David Rockefeller, because he thought that he was the Antichrist, and a lot of the things that he wrote about the prophecies and what would happen and stuff, you know, and now you find out that there's been a whole bunch of stuff in there that's been proven that's not true that shows that it, cause Supreme David Rockefeller 
he isn't even a Rockefeller. He's a whole other person that took that name and that subjected himself, submitted himself to the. Well, I don't know if he. I don't know. Well, of course that guy was. He was born into a Supreme Rockefeller. Yeah, of course he was. But he's not Rockefeller though. He changed his name and everything, and he's like a felon, and he's been in prison, and he's not a real Rockefeller. And Michael Noah Prescott was telling me how when he first met him, he had a beat up old Volkswagen. Prescott did. So then Michael's like his whole mind control program kind of shattered, and he started to break out of it because like over a year ago, in the Burrell Society, well, they asked me he, to give, conceive this child because Michael Noel Prescott has the triple helix, but that was because the Illuminati, reptilians, the draconians, the sangarians, whatever you want to call them, dracos, dragons, lords, self-proclaimed gods, whatever, the ones, the few crim handful of criminals that are at the top of the Illuminati that are controlling everybody and doing everything are some sick, sick people that do sick things. But they've learned that by traumatizing these children that they've been able to break, explain. You, I, I have a hard time with words and explaining things, especially now because I'm so emotional because of this what's happening. So just watch the Kathy O'Brien, the other videos on my channel, please. And then you've got, you've got to get understand. You're going to learn stuff that's going to just blow you away. Okay, but they asked me to conceive this child because I had the triple helix and Michael Noel Prescott, he was give, made to have the triple helix, helix by genetic alteration in the Viril machine, they call it, which is an Illuminati laboratory, and he went through that. And whatever they did to him, they gave him that. And then, because he said that there was not that many women in the world, just hardly any that had this triple helix that was compatible in order to make this baby that they've been trying to create, which is not by no quirk or no, let's just do this. This is something that's been elaborate, controlled breeding, and incestual, generational, multi-generational, a sexual abuse in a cult, sexual child abuse. Everybody that's in the Illuminati, the high levels of the Illuminati, are all born into the Illuminati. They, most of them don't even know it. They don't know that they were under controlled breeding and that their whole life has been influenced by the Illuminati as experiments. And to watch them and see which ones that can serve them best and which ones have the most powers that the people never get to have because they're we never get told what we have we get told that we don't have them and then they know we have them so they manipulate them out of us okay I'm losing my train of thought I'm so emotional this baby okay so these other girls he was trying and trying he called them his priestesses which were all all Illuminati sex slaves like Arizona Wilder and Kathy O'Brien exact same thing watch those videos so the priestesses in Florida he couldn't. He was couldn't couldn't get a son, get anybody pregnant with a son. But there were daughters. He has daughters, but he calls. He says it's their daughters, the Illuminati, because he gives them the child. And see when the person grows up under mind control and all this abuse and everything, they they the ones that are obedient that learn how to be good and do what they're told and completely are obedient. Then they get moved up the ladder into high level positions and they um, get to have their own order. That's where all these different Illuminati orders come from is that they give high ranking members one that make it high enough their own order to have over people, you know, like the Rosicrucians, the Golden Dawn and stuff. Those people, are, those orders are all run by people who have been given that power to have those orders. And so Michael Noel Prescott's orders the for real, I mean not the for real machine, excuse me, that's what he's in. Fuel Society, and he's a um, huge part of the Viril, V R I L, and the Viril machine is the Illuminati laboratory. And um, my guess, I'm not for sure, but I'm almost positive that this is coming out of the Order of Rose because, well, actually, the whole United States thing that is going on here in the United States is all out of Washington, D.C., the Order of the Rose. Kathy O'Brien talks about that. Um, so the ones that are obedient get rewarded and they get their own orders and then okay when a mason makes it past the third degree like the blue lodge the third degree they don't have a clue what's going on a clue they're the ones that just to present to society they're the bottom very very bottom of the illuminati the very very bottom is the third degree 
what the third degree blue lights of the Masons. And that's where they bring them in, anybody that wants to come in, and then they observe them and serve them, and they find out the ones that will be sick motherfuckers and the ones that will sell out for a price or the ones that they can trick or buy or sell. And one way they get these people to denounce their allegiance to our, our Creator and to love, and they pledge their allegiance to these self-proclaimed gods is by giving them titles, titles like the high-ranking titles, they have no power behind them, they're just titles. Like, that's what it's all about, these titles, like the Queen Elizabeth. If you take away her title and all her money, you're going to find out that there's no royalty there at all. So the ones, like Michael Noah Prescott, all his priestesses that he talks about to get pregnant and stuff, they, were, they had the triple helix were all, the triple helix was made in the Viril machine, Illuminati laboratory. But me, I have the triple helix, it turns out, and I'm the only one in the world that has this, that is not an Illuminati sex slave. The rest of them are. All the other girls are. I don't know how many there are, but I know that Michael Del Prescott has pricked every, poked every one of them and trying to get the sun, and then about 10 months ago, a little over 10 months ago, he got this, well, they sent him, brought him in another Illuminati sex slave, this 19-year-old girl who I named Lily. That's what I call her. I call her Lily because Michael was like, if you asking me if I would accept this to have that baby, and I was like, no way, you know, but I had free will, and I said no, and I'm the only one that had a choice. Those other girls don't have a choice, and, but I, I did, but this girl, I call her Lily, and she has been raped since birth. They all have, Michael too, and they've been, some, she, she, all her babies, ever since she's been old enough to have babies, she's been reproducing for the Illuminati, and she never gets to keep her baby, and she's had to watch her babies be murdered, sacrificed, and tortured. Michael Noel Prescott says he doesn't know love, and he doesn't love his baby, and he doesn't know love. He didn't think he's capable of it, but he doesn't realize that he is, because this girl, he got pregnant, She's a mess. Okay, she's a mute. She's also a mute. Severe, severe, severe mind control. And she was brought in. I'm not for sure where. I'm sure where. My master Mason told me that she might have been somebody else that I know. Their sex slave, and that she was taken away from him and given to Michael Noel Prescott, and that this particular person is hates Michael Noel Prescott because. He has that girl because that girl was used to be somebody else's. And I don't give any contact. It's very important in all this, but I won't say who that is. Anyhow, she is a mess, and she got pregnant, and she gave birth on May eighth, two thousand eleven, April eighth, two thousand eleven, with Lucifer, the baby. Michael Noel Prescott, when she was eight months pregnant, ran away with her took her out from behind the veil, took her out of hell, took her out of this prison and the unborn baby because it was his and he decided, he started to realize when he found out about Rockefeller and you know, everything being, uh, that all these, a lot of these prophecies and things that are supposed to be fulfilled, you know, Supreme Rockefeller had such a big part of it and then all of a sudden you turn him into a fake and find out what the truth about him, then it smashes the whole thing. It smashes the whole thing because Michael Noel Prescott literally was saying that, pre that Rock, or Supreme David Rockefeller was the Antichrist and that him and the world would worship him and David Rockefeller and it was, I mean, yeah, and it was just them and, you know, if you read what the prophecies that he said about him and Rockefeller and then find out Rockefeller is a fake and that he did prison time and he's driving a beat up old Volkswagen and changed his name legally and has been, he's a fraud, he's a fraud. So Michael Noel Prescott started to break out of this mind control program and he escaped with the baby and the girl. And he has them right now. The baby's name is Lucifer. I'll be right back.